Since we know that methylation is a very stable form of post-translational modification and unlike acetylation, methylation do not remove the positive charge uh, from the lysine. Uh, that means histones cannot be separated electrophoretically on the basis of differences in methylation. Uh, we have seen this consequence when we discuss acetylation that acetylation with our mono diatri acetylated histones could be separated electrophoretically. The modification is also complicated by the fact that one, two or three methyl groups can be added to each epsilon amino group. The methyl donor in each of this chemical reaction, each of this methylation reaction is s methyl methionine. Methylation occurs most frequently on histones H3 and H4 in vertebrates. Uh, sequencing of purified histones uh, has shown that H3 could be methylated at lysine 9 and 27 and histone H4 could be methylated at lysine 20. Whereas in lower eukaryotes, uh, especially yeast and other ciliated protozoans like tetrahymena, uh, only lysine 4 of histone H3 is reported with mono and dimethylated forms occurring in roughly equal amounts. A characteristic that makes uh, tetrahymenia such a useful experimental organism is that it has two nuclei per cell. Now one the macronucleus which is transcriptionally active whereas uh, the other one is the micronucleus which is transcriptionally repressive. Both methylated histone H3 uh, and methyl transferase enzymes activity are greatly enriched in macronuclear extracts as uh, are acetylated histones and histone acetylase activity. That means both acetylation and methylation has been found upregulated in macronuclear in macronucleus compared to micronuclei. A link between histone acetylation and methylation uh, has also been uh, made from work uh, with the cultured HeLa cells uh, in which the methylated histone H3 was found to be preferentially packaged in the, the nucleosome containing acetylated H4. In contrast, newly methylated histone H4 was underrepresented in acetylated chromatin. Uh, this somehow shows an intricate interplay between the two uh, uh, modification that is acetylation and methylation. Uh, it is increasingly clear nowadays that individual histone modifications should not be considered in isolation or rather a network of these modifications are more meaningful when we talk about uh, physiological environment within the cell. In this case you could say that the uh, the recruitment of methyl recruitment of other chromatin proteins could also be uh, a consequence of methylation. So this is the example. For example, uh, acetylation ke case mein we have discussed the bromo domain containing proteins. Here the chromo domain chrome containing proteins are important. The chromo domain containing proteins are the proteins which could specifically bind. Uh, to those proteins that has gone through methylation. The examples of chromodomain containing proteins are for example the CHD1, ATPase, HP1, PC protein. HP1 is the heterochromatin associated protein one. So these proteins can have a possibility to bind once the methylation uh, has taken place. Similarly, the tudor protein, which is in fact a histone demethylase, can also now bind. This is very, very obvious uh, from this that a demethylase could come and remove the methyl group from there. So that means automatically um, addition of methyl group can invite demethylases to bind there. Similarly, proteins which contain PhD1 domain, uh, they could also bind to methylation. The example of these PhD1 proteins are BPTF and ING2 proteins. Similarly, polycom proteins, uh, one example of this polycom protein is this MBT protein. They could also bind to methylation. So uh, you need to remember that now the methylation can also help in recruitment of other proteins and those proteins most probably contain either chromo domains or PhD domain uh, or Tudor domain. Uh, similarly, methylation could also be important for uh, elongation of the 
transcription it could be involved with active or repressed chromatin state so you see there are multiple roles this chrom this methylation could uh, perform in the nitrogen uh, you in this map you can see different types of lysine residue jo ke highlighted hai for example lysine 36 327 lysine 9 4 h3 and of course this is the histone h3 jiske andar ye lysines maujood hain similarly this is just a uh, histone h4 we uh, 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 humne histone h3 and h4 ko isliye idhar hai zahir kiya kyunki h2 aur h2 ke b ke upar shayad itna extensive data available nahi hai so h3 k4 playing role in active chromatin h3 k36 playing role in active chromatin whereas k9 and k27 is playing role in repressive chromatin i hope that this fig figure will help you to remember that that these two type of activities which we have active or inactive mein, these categories which we have divided chromatin ko active or inactive mein divide kiya they are very important because there are particular modifications on lysine which are required for inactive state and other modifications are required for active state this picture highlight the various type of modifiers that could be recruited as a result of individual uh, histone methylations for example in case of lysine 4 methylation at histone h3 chd1 protein which is a promo domain containing protein could be recruited uh, similarly bptf ing2 jamangi protein the pal could be high, could be recruited as a result of lysine 4 methylation on histone h3 similarly h3 k9 methylation could recruit beta chromatin associated protein 1 lysine 27 methylation could recruit polycom group of protein and so on and so forth this tells that uh, the consequence of each methylation will be different from the other so uh, overall status of the chromatin whether it is active or inactive is normally uh the uh, normally the representative normally uh, evidence uh, that these particular type of modifications are playing role in that and this by the end of the day is going to decide whether uh, is going to decide the transcription status of the cell similarly the color legend present on this uh, slide tells various type of sort domain which these uh, modifiers are containing for example the blue color represents the chroma domain uh, green color represents the theodore domain uh, phd finger domain is represented by purple color and mbt domain by yellow color so all these protein which contain these domains they are shown by these colors uh, second role Uh, different methyl transferases can produce different readouts that means monomethyl dimethyl and trimethyl uh, readouts and each of these readout each of these transcript will have different impact mai is pe bahut zyada nahi rukta aage ki taraf chalte hain this is a kind of familiar picture for you people aise hai na we have discussed this pro, this type of uh, experiment in case of kiske liye humne kiya tha acetylation ke liye can someone of you could let me know ke what does that this picture mean takes some time 5 1 minute lein zara isko soche fir mujhe batae ki iske upar iska kya matlab hai main 1 minute aapke paas dobara wapas aata hu theek hai meanwhile aap isko zara sochiye okay for example look for this promoters panel theek hai and this is there is a separate panel for enhancers and i mean what what do you think uh, is this experiment all about we have discussed similar type of experimentation when we were discussing roles of acetylation uh, in tra transcriptional regulation so this is the similar type of experimentation let me again remind you that uh, green and red peaks are representing the most active promoters in the cell and uh, the blue or gray uh, lines are relatively weak promoters and this data is again uh, has been uh captured for roughly 300 uh transcription transcriptional events of 300 promoters and on those of uh, uh, promoters uh, now we are going to look the role of methylation uh, in case of uh, transcription so that is why uh, this experiment is done 
uh, around transcription start site if you could see downstairs this is the tss mean transcription start site that mean the center of this scale is these point from where the transcription is starting and of course five kilobases upstream and five kilobases downstream of the dna segment was scanned for this particular modification jo ke upar wale har panel ke upar likhi gayi hai so one thing jo ke aapke samne nazar aa gayi the x axis is the length of the genome centering at the transcription start site and on both sides there is पर्टिकुलर लेंथ ऑफ द डीएनए जहां के ऊपर ये स्कैन किया गया ईच पैनल वॉज डिवेल्प फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर केमिकल मॉडिफिकेशन इफ यू कुड फोकस ऑन दैट केमिकल मॉडिफिकेशन यू विल बी अमेज टू अंडरस्टैंड वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज मॉडिफिकेशन आर ऑन हिस्टोन एच थ्री के फोर ऑल ऑफ दीज मॉडिफिकेशन आर ऑन वन सिंगल लाइसिन ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर हिस्टोन but what is different in all these modification at one place it is monomethylated at an other it is a dimethylated and in the third panel it is trimethylation that means that these promoters jin ko hum analyze kar rahe hain unko hum analyze kar rahe hain against monomethylation of stone h3k4 against dimethylation of stone h3k4 and against trimethylation of histone h3k4 so there are different modifications which are being analyzed in in this situation arbitrarily the promoters has been given a number or has been given a category and this category is from weak to strong promoters that is p1 to p4 Uh, the strongest promoter the promoters which are active in most of the situation that is called that is why they are called strong promoters they are shown in green and red colors whereas the weak promoters jo ke shayad bahut acche nahi hai kuch conditions ke andar ya tissue specific promoters hain kuch ke situation ke andar wo active hain kuch ke andar wo active nahi ho pate they are in gray and this purple or blue color jo ke aapko nazar aata so now you have all the information jo ke sare ke sare एक्सपेरिमेंट के अंदर आपके पास शो की गई है सो नाउ व्हाट यू कुड थिंक ऑफ देयर इज एन एंगल ऑन व्हिच यू कैन थिंक सो फॉर एग्जांपल यू कुड थिंक वेदर अगर इफ द पैटर्न ऑफ मेथाइलेशन ऑफ ऑल दीस मॉडिफिकेशंस इज द सेम यू कुड से देयर इज नो इंपैक्ट ऑन द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन वन थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी ऑबवियस आप जिसको कह सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर पीक हमेशा सेंटर में नजर आती जैसे मोनोमेथाइलेशन की डाइमेथाइलेशन की एंड ट्राइमेथाइलेशन की तो व्हाट विल यू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन यू विल से देयर इज नो डिफरेंस एट ऑल ऐसा ही है कि नहीं है सिंस वी हैव हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पीक्स फॉर एग्जांपल मोनोमेथाइलेशन की पीक डिफरेंट है देन डाइमेथाइलेशन एंड ट्राइमेथाइलेशन यू कुड से दैट दे हैव डिफरेंट इंपैक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल यू कुड सी दैट द पीक एट द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार्ट साइट मोनोमेथाइलेशन इज लीस्ट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार्ट साइट के ऊपर मेथाइलेशन मोनोमेथाइलेशन बिल्कुल डिप्लीटेड है दैट इज वेदर इज अ डिप ऑन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रमोटर्स वेदर दे आर एक्टिव वेदर दे आर स्ट्रांग और वीक प्रमोटर एट द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार्ट साइट दे हैव अ डिप दे हैव अ डिप्लीशन इन द मोनो फॉर मोनोमेथाइलेशन बट फॉर डाइमेथाइलेशन ऑफ कोर्स देयर इज अ डिप बट साइमल्टेनियसली Dime, levels of dimethylation are higher than monomethylation but for histone h3k4 methylation at the transcription start site they are highest at transcription start site they are highest for monomethylation they are lowest monomethylation ke liye again main aapko batau levels of monomethylation at transcription start site are less but as you move away from the transcription start site their levels are increasing for transcription for h3k4 dimethylation levels of dimethylation are lowest at the transcription start site but they are increasing as you move away from the transcription start site but for trimethylation the levels are highest at the transcription start site but they have lowest level when you move away from the transcription start site now you have all the information jo ke is picture ke andar aapke paas visible hai let me ask you people again 
can you interpret the levels of methylation can you associate now the levels of different types of h3k4 methylation with transcription of a gene sir we okay genome structure jo hai wo present hai let me वन थिंग जो कि आपको पहले सोचनी चाहिए इन तीनों पैनल्स के अंदर कॉमन चीज क्या है इन व्हाट इज कॉमन इन ऑल दीज पैनल्स इज द पोजीशन फॉर एग्जांपल दिस पोजीशन ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार्ट साइट इज प्रेजेंट हियर हियर एंड हियर सो इफ समथिंग इज मिसिंग हियर फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू से न्यूक्लियोसोम इज मिसिंग हियर दैट मींस यू आर प्रोबेबली सेइंग दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूक्लियोसोम इज आल्सो मिसिंग हियर and here which is not true in this case main ki uske taraf aata hu kyunki ye basically nucleosome ka data evel to hai nahi this is just methylation level to hamare paas control nahi hai methylation uh, nucleosome ke liye of course this is an important uh, control jiski hum baat kar sakte hain what is shown in this picture is that the level of monomethylation as low are lowest at the transcription start site but they are higher in the neighborhood of transcription start site सेम इज ट्रू फॉर एच थ्री के फोर उसके लिए भी यही ट्रू है कि लेवल आर लोएस्ट एट दी ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार साइड बट दे आर हाइएस्ट इन दी नेबरहुड बट फॉर एच थ्री के थर्ड बट फॉर एच थ्री के फोर ट्राई मैथलेशन दैवल दैट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार साइड आर हाइएस्ट इसका मतलब ये लगता है दैट सीम्स दैट एच थ्री के फोर इज सम हाउ आर रेप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर एन एक्टिव प्रोमोटिंग दिस इज ट्रू जो कि अभी कुछ देर पहले रफीक भी जिसकी तरफ इशारा कर रहा था वो शायद कहना ये चाह रहा था एच थ्री के फोर इज एन इंडिकेटिव ऑफ एक्टिव एक्टिव क्रोमोटिन यू कैन से इट यू क्रोमोटिन आई एम नॉट सेंग इट यू क्रोमोटिन करंटली बट इट इज एन एक्टिव क्रोमोटिन जिसके अंदर एच थ्री के फोर इज इन अबंडेंट क्वान्टिटीज बट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच थ्री के फोर एंड के फोर मोनोमैथलेशन एंड डाई मैथलेशन आर लोएस्ट एट द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन स्टार्ट साइड दैट मीन्स you cannot associate them with transcription activation you cannot associate them with transcription initiation you can you can say h3k4 is associated with transcription initiation kyunki transcription ne yahan par initiate hona hai aise hai na transcription ne transcription start site se initiate hona hai so one thing is there is a positive association of transcription start site transcription initiation and h3 ko 4 trimethylation data mein ye bata raha hai ki h3 k4 trimethylation has some positive association with h3 k with h3 k4 trimethylation theek hai to so, transcription ke iske sath positive association hai agar aap pichli slides yaad rakhe jahan par humne dekha tha h3 k4 is associated with uh, transcriptionally active chromatin to yahan par wo true nazar aata hai but at the same time you could also realize that h3 k4 monomethylation and dimethylation has no association or of course you can say has inverse association with transcription start site ke jab transcription start site jahan with the transcription ke jahan par transcription honi hai wahan par inke levels lowest hai that means transcription zyada ho rahi hai monomethylation aur dimethylation ke level kam ho rahe hain that means there is no association or it is an inverse association jisko hum keh sakte hain but at the same time their levels are increasing on the sides and this process is normally called an elongation elongation process aise hi hai na isi ko humne elongation kaha tha na kya khayal hai yes sir that means h3 k4 monomethylation and dimethylation has positive correlation with kiske sath bala elongation transcription elongation ke sath so k4 trimethylation has a positive correlation with transcription initiation and monomethylation and dimethylation has a role in elongation theek hai the same order you can say you can make a role for enhancer element enhancers are far off elements jinke humne last time bhi zikr kiya tha ki wo bahut dur dur maujood hote hain unke par bhi methylation ka role aap define kar sakte hain so Needless to say, different promote different enhancer elements, strong to weak enhancer elements, and three different types of methylation status, which you have seen. So, their role should be seen here. I hope you have realized one thing with this picture, with this slide, and this one thing is that not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern. Not all type of methylation is present in the same pattern.
monomethylation, although happening on the same residue, they have different impact on different type of residues. At the top panel of the slide, you could see different enzymes, which uh, in their in their role, you will see that they bind with monomethylation, monomethylation, dimethylation, uh, trimethylation, and of course, there are some positive roles or the physiological conditions which they are playing in their role. You will see that they are in their so this picture is again showing the role of methylation either in transcription in the initiation or in transcription elongation. So in this picture, lysine 4 and lysine 36 methylation, trimethylation, both trimethylations. Previous picture may lysine same tha, levels of methylation different thi. This case may level of methylation same hai, lysine different and the role the khane ki koshish ki gai hai. So you see in this panel, there is an open reading frame. The arrow sign shows the uh, direction of uh, expression. This direction of expression is going on. Okay. Your question is transcription start site is this one. This place is transcription start site. And this direction of transcription is going on. In the down panel, you have H3K4. And H3K36 ke levels are showing. The peak is showing you. Kar rahi hai. The width of the peak, uh, height of the peak shows the level of methylation at this position. For example, H3K4 trimethylation levels are highest at the transcription start site, whereas H3K36 levels are lowest at the transcription start site. If you see this, this, this at this place, K34, K, uh, K4 ke trimethylation ke level highest, hai, K36 ke lowest. Hai. But as you move away from the transcription start site, and you move within the open reading frame in the gene sequence, you see that K4 trimethylation ke level come or whereas K36 ke level increase ka hai, which is a very, very important thing. Last panel jo is picture ka hai, uske andar aapko correlation nazar a hai. Positive sign means it's a positively correlated, so positively correlated with this thing. So, pehli baat jo aap logo ko yaap se learn karne chahiye, wo ye learn karne chahiye is picture mein. K H3 K4 or K36 ke levels transcription start site or within the transcript are different. Dono same nahi hai. Dono ke levels bhi different hai aur ek dusre different hai. But both are positively correlated with gene transcription. Both are positively trans correlation with transcription rates hai na? Both are positively translated are uh, positively correlated with transcription uh, status. So that but the difference is that H3 K4 is Transcriptionally active H3K4 trimethylation is positively correlated with the initiation, whereas the K36 is positively correlated with the elongation. Okay? So do not mix those two things together. K4 trimethylation is positively correlated with transcriptional initiation. K36 trimethylation is positively correlated with transcriptional elongation so that gives you a feeling which feeling that different types of chemical modifications although they are chemically the same but present at two different locations could have different impact so asa nahi ki aap hamesha methylation ke sath yahi kahe ki isse activation hi ho rahi hai sometime wo activation ka matlab hi galat hai for example agar aap is point pe dekhenge jahan par is waqt mera cursor hai to aapko lagega K36 ko dekhke aap kahenge ke there is no association of transcription with K36 methylation. But agar aap yaha par dekhke ke to aapko lagega there is an association of transcription with methylation uh, elongation. Uh, same is the case for K4. Aapko center mein jaake lagega ki K4 ki methylation ka koi role nahi hai elongation ke andar. But it has a role in initiation. So you see there are two different types of things jinko aap ek se ke saath Mix up nahi kar sakte. I will stop it here. Uh, hum kal dwara is lecture ko start karenge. Job logo ne kuch discuss.